Hello friends on YouTube. It's a lovely morning here, although it was a cold night again. My sleeping bag definitely isn't up to being cold, but never mind. Um, as you can see, it's wash day here on Camp Ros. You know, as the saying says, you should make hay while the sun shines. You should also do your washing while the sun shines if you're on the road. So it's, it's wash day. Um, I just wanted to show you the view here in this new site. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Sun shining. Last night we wasn't in the right place. So I thought, oh, get it in the morning. Show that lovely sun. The, I've got to move down forward a bit. Probably got a bit of handshake now because I haven't got my selfie stick on. Uh, look at that. And then if I pan around to the left, as a, I think that's probably a renter, common renter caravan thingy. Yeah, there's a very old baler over there. Bless them, they were spraying that field yesterday. We had to shut up all the windows, but you've got to do it. Didn't take long with a great big sprayer. Now I'm coming round, and then, so I'm going now, I'm facing now west. Some went down over there, beyond the hills, last night. And then over here, towards that way, is the sea, and that's basically, that's basically south about there, I think. Trying to do it with the sun behind me. There we are, it's a nice shot. Thought I'd give it a camper cat. Is inside the camper. There we've got our 100 watt solar panel. Definitely plenty of energy there, Ros. And just to show you what I've got to do today, because my back's still sore, but I've got to do a big job today. You see this box on the back here? Got a back rack. Great idea. The box you could either get the very big box or the other box wasn't big enough. And this one's a bit big. And I'm not too keen on the way it's travelling. And I've got it on swivel at the moment. I've got to take, unpack it, take all that off and reconfigure it so it's not on swivel, so hopefully make it a bit more stable. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a little, just a little shot, just a little one. There we are, living conditions. I don't know if we can get into Camper Cat or not. Camper Cat. Say hello. good morning, Camper Cat. Yeah. We're a bit untidy, but you know, there's nowhere to put anything to create on this. I've got to have the box with everything in. Anyway, there is my. Oh, I'm so glad I brought it, my little gas heater. And I'm very pleased of it. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a little shot. And uh, hopefully we'll be out on the road again this afternoon. So I've got to do these jobs this morning. While it's dry, I've got to get it done. Um, by the way, I think the guy that was sweeping up the front yesterday, did have a little chat to him. Gave him, and he accepted a John's Gospel. Really nice, friendly chap. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll go back there. I might do Sidmouth tomorrow. Found out that um, line reach is going to be very difficult for me to get on to the front, I think, because I can't walk too far, and you've got to walk down a hill and all that business. So I may concentrate more on Seaton, which I know is good to get at. Good at Sidmouth, he said, is good as well. And I may try X myth which i know is a pain to part but we'll try smith as well so we're going to do concentrate in those three places i might try line regis see how things get the very least we can do we could pray from the top or something but as I, as you know i'm not very well able-bodied these days so i'm not into cliff climbing and things now i can't do a lot of walking anyway we will do what we can and i'm praying much for this land and i can see you know it's got its problems a lot of the farms are you know Especially the sheep farmers and stuff, you know, that they all do need our prayers. Well, yes, and of course, animal farmers as well. I must miss you out, must like milk. Okay, uh, they all need our prayers. The farmers need our prayers of this land, you know. We've got to pray for them, pray for the land, pray for the healing of the land, pray for the farmers, pray for the tourist industry too in Seaton and Sidmouth and all round and all over the country. You know, with God, we can make Britain great again. This is what this is all about, you know, join with other believers in praying for this country and praying that we will see Britain great again, great in God again. This was a Christian nation. Now it's called a secular. The word secular, you know, you know what the word secular means? Godless. Well, we've got to turn that around. And I'm asking you friends to join with me in that and turn this around for this nation. And as I go, I really do feel inspired to pray for more of the different places I'm beginning to see and seeing the problems. And by the way, we have got a buzzard up there. I don't suppose you can see him. Yes, and then we've got a crow or something, or rook, gonna chase him off, look, look, look. Gonna chase him off. 
just bet you can see him. I can't see a thing through this camera, but I love watching those buzzards. When I was at Chettle House, I only had a buzzard for company for weeks. Look at that. It is good. Yeah, that's that's the um, the rooks chasing them off. Don't worry about the nest. Anyway, just a little clip. See you later. Bye.